Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the Apple TV 2 on the latest firmware for the device being 6.2.1, the equivalent of iOS 7.1.2. All right, so to start off, even if you don't have an Apple TV 2, great news. Not only is I Hate Snow accredited to assisting in updating this utility, but so is Pod 2G of the Evaders, as well as Posix Ninjas, the Quantum Chronic dev team. So how awesome would it be if these guys finally started to get back into jailbreaking? Again, big thumbs up for that and their assistance in helping to jailbreak the Apple TV 2 on the latest firmware. Now, as stated in the title of this jailbreak video and everywhere else, this only functions on the Apple TV 2 due to its its CPU. It will not work on the latest Apple TVs, including the Apple TV 3, which looks identical to this one. It even has the exact same remote, or the Apple TV 4, the brand new one, which I actually got a chance to use and unbox early. So be sure to check out that video. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now. It actually also became available for order on Apple.com today. And quickly, the reasoning behind that is simply because the Apple TV 2 features an older A4 CPU, which was jailbroken for life essentially by GeoHot with LimeRain. So this is an adapted version of a hardware-based exploit. Now that doesn't persist in the Apple TV 3, which uses an A5, or the Apple TV 4, the upcoming one, which has an A8 CPU. However, with that said, I will definitely keep you guys updated of any potential new jailbreak information for the brand new Apple TV 4, as well as the Apple TV 3. So be sure to click that subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And also quickly, before we begin, my iPhone 6S giveaway is actually concluding very soon and I will start my brand new Apple TV 4 giveaway so be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for information as well as instructions on the success giveaway. Now also there are some limitations of this Apple TV jailbreak besides the fact that it only functions on the Apple TV 2. So first of all it uses Season Pass, a beta version of the tool which is exclusive to OS 10, meaning a Mac so you will have to have a Mac if you want to actually jailbreak your older Apple TV 2. Thankfully though it does support OS 10.11 El Capitan, the latest version for Macs. Also, because this is a custom IPSW or a custom firmware file, that means you will have to restore your device and you'll have to lose everything on it. Thankfully though, that isn't too big of a deal and it is tethered, which means that anytime you actually have to reboot it for whatever reason that may be, you're going to have to plug it into your computer via a micro USB cable and run a part of the utility. But thankfully that's not really a deal breaker because the only times you're really going to have to reboot your Apple TV is if the power goes out, you actually need to physically move the device and unplug it or if you just have to turn it off for whatever reason that may be. So with everything said up until this point out of the way and fully understood we can go ahead and continue. The only thing you're going to need for this tutorial is just season pass, your Apple TV itself, the remote for your Apple TV as well as a micro USB cable which we're actually going to use to connect it to our computer. So first of all let's talk about the season pass download. So I will have one link down below in the more info for you guys to a post on my site best techinfo.com and it will contain a direct link to this github source here for season pass from the developers firecore and you'll see three files here you're only going to need the top one it's just season pass beta.zip and once you click on it it should immediately start downloading and then your computer will automatically unzip it and just put it in a folder and then inside of said folder you'll simply receive season pass you can drag it to your desktop or really wherever you want just so long as you know where it is so that way you can run it now Speaking of running it, you might not be able to based on your settings. So let's go ahead and launch up system preferences here. You're going to need to go to security and privacy and then click on the little padlock in the lower left so you can make changes input your password and you're going to allow apps downloaded from anywhere. If you don't already have this setting selected, I definitely recommend it because that way you'll actually be able to use things you download. So let's go ahead and close out of system preferences now and we're going to launch up season pass. Now the first time you open it, it may ask you to input your administrative password. That's just so it can go out to Apple servers, download the corresponding IPSW for your device and make modifications to it and then actually restore to it. So that's why you have to enter your administrative password. There's definitely nothing malicious going on 
Fire Core is not only renowned, but they're also a trusted source, as are the previous developers that I mentioned. So as you can see here, we have two options inside of Season Pass. We have Create IPSW and Boot Tethered. We're going to get into Boot Tethered in just a second. First, we need to focus on Create IPSW to actually restore our Apple TV to, though. So if you were to just regularly click on this, it would actually go out and download 5.3 because that's the latest firmware supported by the untethered portion of Season Pass. But because we're not worried about that, we want the latest firmware, we actually have to right click over on this, create IPSW, and then select 6.2.1 down below at the bottom there. But if you try before you plug in your Apple TV, it will ask you to connect it to your computer. So let's go ahead and just connect it now via a micro USB cable just in the back. There it is, of course, connected to my display here. And then once we've done that, we can again right click on create IPSW and select 6.2.1. And as you can see, it's stating that it's validating the IPSW and it's just going through this process. So like I said previously, it will actually download it for you. I've already downloaded it through Season Pass previously, so it's just going through the steps of actually preparing the custom IPSW to restore our Apple TV too. But for you, the download process shouldn't take too long. Just ensure that you have an active network connection. Let's go ahead and wait for this. All right, so readjusting the view here inside of Season Pass, it stated that the creation of the custom IPSW was successful, and now it's asking us to enter DFU mode. So you should already be connected right now. However, we need to actually plug into our AC power cable here too as well, and it's asking us to actually use our remote and hold down menu as well as pause play for a total of seven seconds until we receive a rapid flashing light on the front of the Apple TV. Once we do, we should be in DFU mode, but we have to time this just right. We have to actually do it while the Apple TV is booting up. So let's go ahead and connect our power cable to it right now. And I'm going to bring the remote over into view. We're going to hold down these two buttons together for a total of seven seconds. Again, menu as well as pause play. We have a rapid flashing light here. Let's go ahead and let go. And we should be inside of DFU mode. So as you can see, it's continuing here inside of Season Pass itself. And we're actually going through the restore process right now. We still have that rapid flashing light on the front of the Apple TV. So I'm just going to let this process play through. Also, if for whatever reason you have any sort of issues entering DFU mode after you plug in, you might wanna try holding down menu as well as the downward facing button on the wheel until the light on the front starts flashing. Once it does, let go of the buttons and then start holding down menu and pause play for seven seconds. And by the way, you can actually leave iTunes open while it's going through this process inside of Season Pass. Just to show you guys here, let's go ahead and maximize and then minimize it again. So now, as you can see, inside of Season Pass, it's stating that it's actually restoring the Apple TV right now. So it's going through the process of loading up this custom IPSW, which again, does mean that it will be jailbroken.
and now it's just going through the remainder of the jailbreak. All right, and there we go. As you can see inside of Season Pass, it states that the restore was successful. So at this point, we can go ahead and click Done inside of Season Pass. You can unplug your Apple TV and move it. However, what you need to do before it actually can reboot is boot tethered. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that right now. So simply click on Boot Tethered once your device is connected to your computer. Again, we need to be connected with both the micro USB cable as well as the power cable. So let's go ahead and connect the power cable right now because as I stated before, it needs to be in the initial boot up so we can actually send this command to it. So let's go ahead and plug it into the AC power cable right now and we're going to hold down these two buttons on the remote again menu as well as pause play for seven seconds until we receive a very rapid flashing light. Then we can go ahead and let go. As you can see, season pass has already detected that it is inside of DFU mode and it's just going through the process of sending over the exploit and actually booting tethered right now. So we can go ahead and wait for this, just leave it plugged in. All right, and as you can see, it says that the tethered boot has now been done successfully, so we can actually unplug the micro USB, but we need to leave the power cable plugged in because at this point, you should be in close enough range to your TV that you can connect your HDMI cable to it. And remember, you have to do that every single time the Apple TV does reboot. Hopefully, though, that shouldn't be often. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in via HDMI and readjust the view. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at the Apple TV setup screen. We can go ahead and go through this process just with the regular Apple TV remote. Like I said toward the beginning, because this is a custom IPSW, it does mean that we have to actually reset up the Apple TV entirely. So let's go ahead and go through that process. Now, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so here we are at the main screen here. Also, it should be worth noting that you won't have to actually go through the setup process every time you boot tethered, only the first time because we did restore the device. Now, as you can see here, by scrolling over to settings, you'll notice that we have the fire core settings icon now instead of the regular default settings. That confirms that we are indeed jailbroken on this Apple TV too. All right, so I hope you guys, all right, so I hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope it helped you jailbroken 
they'll break your older Apple TV. Hopefully now the new Apple TV with its upcoming app store will act as the catalyst to once again spark the interest in creating Apple TV jailbreaks. Okay, and as for my iPhone 6S giveaway, it's very simple to enter. All you have to do is just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari on your iOS device and sign up. Once you do, download one or more of the applications you see here in the main section for points. And once you do earn points, just navigate to the fourth tab at the bottom and you see that referral link right there. What you need to do is take the unique part so it appears after the equals symbol and post it in the comment section of this video. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now. It's really that simple. Now that giveaway will actually conclude this week, so get your entries in as soon as possible. Also, that's when I'll detail the all new Apple TV 4 giveaway. So again, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter if you have yet to, to be updated and notified even more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.